Kyle, brother of mine, I haven't seen you since last year. Oh, man, that was a weird time. 2017. There you go, you can turn, turn, <laughs> turn that into something. <laughs> now that's when you show our YouTube channel no updates. <laughs> I have here some movies, because we're gonna watch movies. Because David's over there with a gun. Knock yourself out. Speaking of guns, that looks like there's lots of guns in those movies you're holding. Yeah, and none of them will be good. I'm gonna lay, name some actors. And you're gonna tell me which actor you wanna see this evening. Oh, uh, okay. So, starting off, let's go with Chuck Norris. Charles Bronson. Randy Quaid. Did you say I, Randy Quaid? I said Randy Quaid. And these are all action movies, right? Yes. I think I'll have to go with that one. Because all right. I can't even imagine Randy Quaid being the lead of an action movie. Then you have That sounds very uh, ill-conceived. Then you have chosen Ed McBain's 87th Precinct semicolon Lightning. Um, how is this my fault now? The detectives of the 87th Precinct investigate the murders of several female collegiate runners. You broke it. If only. Not really. Oh no, I gave away the art. Where'd it go? Oh no, I guess we'll have to go see a good movie. Whoa, this is not a good start. Did it just start? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. That's the bit. That's the start of the film. Yeah, that's not good. Until we know where we're at, I'm just gonna put it in fifth. <laughs> Bing Rames. These are terrible credits. I love it when you don't have any idea where the actors are in relation to each yeah, other. That's yeah. always great. I guess it's like, is she afraid? Does she know that she's being chased by... Whoa. But not Damon. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we're getting an edited and production designer before the movie even starts. This is important, you guys. Are you writing this down? Tell how did production designer beat director of photography in the lineup? This was a novel. Roger that, 870. Just 10 minutes. We're on duty. Double umbrella. They work together, they're friends. Yeah. <laughs> Why they just like kissed on the lips? It's well, like, uh-huh, what a you wonderful professional relationship. She asked if it was so. okay to invite someone else. You said yes. It's not like it hasn't happened before. Yeah, I know. This is dropped, okay? Okay. <laughs> if you and the guys are having a problem, you should talk it out. You've got all these images going on in your head that are only going to get you in trouble. What images? You know. The kind where your wife's there getting There is fucked. no problem between Augusta and me. Really? You're down here in the rain on department time, staking out your own wife in front of your own building. That's a problem. Unit 8707 responding. Bert. Yeah. Yeah, Bert. Come on, Bert. Why would you roll down your window? Oh. This movie <laughs> couldn't afford normal lights and, like, nice. slap it on the top. That's the 90s, uh... Detective, Cut to detective, normal detective, cups. Detective put light on top of car. 
It's a Dwight Troop move. Pull over! Dwight? Move to the side of the road! Why? I'm gonna get medieval on Okay, hold on. Eyes. Hold on, this is possible homicide? <laughs> Well, he could have hung himself with an American flag. He's got the fucking thing on the back of his head. You know? So, like, in Pulp Fiction, he's got... Ving Rhames has, like, a band-aid on the back of his head. Because Ving Rhames had, like, a, a scar on the back of his head that he's, like, self-conscious about. But since then, it spawned, like, the conspiracy theories of, like... Oh, you know, the bandage is hiding the spot where Ving Rhames' character's soul was taken and like, stuff like that. In this movie, he's got like some big giant bandage slapped onto the back of the same spot. You think she's supposed to look like she's standing up? It does kind of look like that. Looks like something. Maybe struck by lightning? <laughs> Wait, hold it. Look at this. Looks like something's been cut away. It's the Flash! Yeah. The Flash murdered her. Anti-Flash. Yeah. yeah, reverse Flash. Who's that? <laughs> she found the body. What'd she say? Well, she didn't exactly say anything. She's a gypsy. Why not? Because she can't. Because she's deaf. Well, if, oh. she was, if she was mute, she couldn't say anything. Yeah, if she's deaf, she can say things. You all are just assholes. <laughs> she can't. What? She's I Jewish. Saw the killer. Whoa, ma'am, I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Yeah. Sit on that bench, please. Randy. Um, I am Detective Corella. I would like to ask you some questions <laughs> my name is Todd he wrote him a note. What does it say? I'm not an idiot I'm deaf speak normally I'm sorry you are she said I just said I'm deaf <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. What if he just did this just to be an asshole? He goes, so you are... <laughs> Miss Franklin, I'd like to get you to come down to the station tomorrow sometime to give us a full statement. He's See, really trying, getting ready to move Randy. Yeah. Do this with your mouths. <laughs> I'll edit something funny in place. Yeah, yeah. David Grayson is a cunt. Fuck you, Kyle! <laughs> you know what he is? He's like discount Ray Liotta. He looks like, uh, like from the side, he looks like Ray Liotta. Yeah, from the side, he looks exactly like So far, this movie has cost $10 to make. Like, outside of the actors, it has no production value. I'm pretty sure it seems like they just, they're just uh, filming the whole thing on a steady cam. Here's our office. Definitely not a room we just put five desks in. I know that hair piece. I'd know that hair piece anywhere. Oh, he's gonna, she's gonna be his love interest. Oh, snap. Oh, that's the deaf woman. It's very thoughtful. Can we, can we get closer? Nope. Can we get closer to them? Who needs coverage? No, because the camera's got to move back, and that would, you know, take one extra setup. <laughs> it's like you made a whole movie of just the white, the master. She. <laughs> Randy's trying. That's the worst part, is he's trying. This is Oscar movie. Absolutely, this is a little sad. This is the best it gets. Wait, did I just hear you say this was sad? <laughs> this is beautiful, Kyle. He is trying so hard. Actually, I'm betting it more complicated. Love interest um, at the beginning, however, she's just trying to cover up the fact that she had some involvement in the murder. No, 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 no. Love interest at the beginning, she's the one fucking his partner's wife. <laughs> that bitch! She's fucking all my, my deaf girlfriends. 
My wife is fucking a deaf chick. Randy, I don't know what to do. She packed up all her stuff and left. Except her headphones. Look at this shot. I have lots of buildings. I bet they're all in great shape, just like this one, huh? You know, a city building. This looks like a documentary. This is a documentary. Look, it's like shaky up the stairs. Yeah, it's been all handheld and like steady cam and stuff. Does it seem like maybe they're trying to do like a. Law and Order? Yes. yes. Yeah. Hard Law and Order. Yeah. Except with none of the charm. See, but you know what this is? This is like Law and oh, Order, God. fifth season filler episode. Fucking heaven outside. Yeah, with white walls. Was this my apartment? Yeah. Was this your apartment? This is, the, this is our old apartment. Our apartment has shit in it. <laughs> it has one shit in it. <laughs> one whole shit in it. And it says winter is coming. Damn right. Can't type beans. Just because I want to cut to it, I can't. His character, Randy Quaid, looks exactly as he did in Caddyshack 2, for anybody who saw yeah. that. Cut to that clip over the Alex's house. head of Caddyshack 2, oh, Randy Quaid. Beat down your door with a you fucking baseball bat! Um. We've identified the victim. Her name is Mara Schaefer. Just one, what's your digits, girl? One Would you like to go out for coffee or a drink sometime? Cold. Ooh, that's called not into it. Why? My last husband made me deaf. You don't date hearing men. <laughs> that is a line for the record books. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, you know, the only thing that's going to break that... You know, prejudice is his dick. See you later. Why not? It can't be that complicated. Oh my god. That's actually a good shot of him. Yeah. He actually looked very charming in that that moment. Well, if you love Randy Quaid so much, why don't you fucking marry him? Here's the thing. He's really trying. I yes. really he like really Randy can. Quaid. I think he's, he's great. Well, like he's great in like you know like comedic. But, but like, comedians can be good, serious. Yeah, no, he's really... He's not phoning uh, it in like you, you would think he might be. Well, because I have a feeling it was pitched like, this is your chance. Yeah. You're moving, you know what I mean? And you are the star. Maybe, yeah. He is kind of like the John Wayne in this. Like, hey, uh, that's a perfect example. Yeah. John Wayne always gets rejected by a woman in like every fucking movie. You wouldn't happen to want to go for dinner over there, would you? And then she yeah. just goes, I don't date hearing men. And he goes, you could date hearing men if you wanted to. You just didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and he throws her in a pond. Yeah. <laughs> See, some of these shots I really like. Yeah. Like, that should have been the poster. Spying on my wife, even though I'm going out. Design council's reception for Empire. Girlfriend or prostitute? <laughs> That's his wife. Oh. I will if you insist. Oh, you're right. Every phone for a change. All right. Wife. Prostitutes don't ask you to go to things with them. That's just wives. <laughs> if they charge hourly, they do. <laughs> Let's go to the theme park. Listen, I know a thing or two about prostitutes. They don't ask you to go nowhere. <laughs> well, there you go. I don't want to worry about marriage problems. Yeah, I'm tired. He's like, oh, are you sure you don't want to go to the thing I want Ooh. you to go to? He's like, ah, oh, you know, I'm just so tired from the case. Dead woman? Oh. oh! He's just staring at him. Oh, he's got a stencil. Yeah, he's stenciling. Uh, That's some good under tit. That is some quality under tit. Alas. Now her shirt's gonna mm -hmm. stick to it. Now let me ask you that. Do you think this was like a, a TV movie of the week? Yep. You do? Yeah. You think Lifetime? Probably regular network. Uh, late mid nineties. That that's, a, that's like a normal thing. Sure. Yeah. Right. Like. Uh, so this wouldn't be on OETA. Like, like the Lifetime ones don't get like your Randy Quaid's and stuff. Right? No, but those are always about like abusing or killing True. women. True. They're also though never shot as well as this. So this is like well, 
I say that, like, half the stuff that's not handheld is all right, right? Yeah. You know, like, B. Oh, that's nice. Oh, he's trying to he's learn sign language. language. See, that's nice. I actually like that. Yeah. I'd like it more if we moved off from this. J. I would like it better if you could see his face. L. Show a close-up of his face trying, trying to learn. Yeah, the boobs. Yeah, but that would require one more setup, and they can't do that. Party? What's the matter with that? It's part of this thing. Whatever his thing is. Steve! This is here. He delivered that like a true 1940s detective. It's part of his thing. It's whatever his thing is. We've got a real lunatic on our hands. I had that same thought. The positions are so specific. It must mean something. It means you can see our legs real good. Damn nice legs. Are those guys twins or some shit? <laughs> yeah, they're, the, they're the cops they were making fun of earlier. Looking up her skirt while she's dead. Yeah, like, How did he be How'd she die? The only way to catch a criminal mm -hmm. is to Valley. think like a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> think like a criminal. Think like a criminal. Not again. This is crazy. My Mario is not his fault. I told the what? other officers. My husband has a heart attack. How's he supposed to drive? God, so he hits another car, terrible. but nobody is. What am I going to tell my husband? You're going to tell her she's dead. It's kind of like Law and Order, only there's no music. Yeah, yeah, Here's that's a big one. problem. Teachers, enemies, anyone she needs. What do they need? It's mm -hmm. like, well, she did talk about this know, one enemy know. named Lightning <laughs> Bolt Joe. <laughs> I didn't think much uh, of it at the time. It's something, it's something about a noose well, and an American so flag and a lightning bolt, but... Bum, bum, bum. That's where music belongs. My auntie is a runner. She's a champion. What? Was. <laughs> uh, you know what is a missed opportunity, Kyle? She should have bolted out of the room and then they just go, takes after her mother. Like, that just one... Yeah. Line. Do you think they're gonna end up like in a in a Silence of the Lambs scenario, more like he's like they're gonna have to go to a prison at some point and talk to like an old criminal? They're gonna have to talk to. You I can see that. He, what is he? Where's Randy Clay? Got to go get some justice around here. He's gonna go beat up an Asian. What, what's the problem, detective? What is going on on the left over there? See, this is why that, that blows my mind that like there's so much of this that is like shot really well and so much of it that's like the most awful thing I've ever seen. That's the guy from Fargo. Remember he goes, he was such a nice lady. Remember he tries to like hit on uh, Margie at the hotel? That's him. Cut to David being wrong. Marge? Do you think there were like multiple like... Entries into the like the series, like maybe there's multiple movies. I bet they were trying to do that and it failed miserably. I bet they did too. Well, it's based off a book. It's uh, Alex saw the yeah. yeah, it's a book. It's the first music we've had in about 15 minutes, and it's that classic stupid jazz that they play when yeah, a cop. Is he stalking the deaf girl? He's gonna At least say, say yes. Yes, yes he is. No, he's not. Yeah! Watch okay. this, and see. Yeah. He's gonna talk to her in sign language. You dated other hearing men before, right? But it didn't work out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Teddy, the last thing I want to do is bother you. So here I am to bother you. I'm a middle-aged guy. Up until about a year ago, I was involved in a relationship. A long relationship. Almost six years. I wanted to get married. She did. And that was pretty much that. Well, anyway, every bit of goodwill I ga years, he gained over the course of the movie, we were gone. Forward. Now. We're about to get this is really Hold on. Hold on. This is... Hold on. Yeah, see. You have dinner with me. Tomorrow, right? Please. You did it. 
Well, it's kind of like it's kind of <laughs> like a Shape of Water, a deaf woman and a horrible monster. <laughs> man, I'm a middle-aged man. I just got out of a relationship. Like I was like, like, oh no, no. But he just said this guy. I wanted to get married. She was deaf. <laughs> <laughs> so. I got so when I proposed, I she didn't hear shit. Yeah, I, I, anybody, want, anybody want more margarita? Or, I do. Or, or, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw some. I'm hoping I was gonna have some margarita. Yeah, get on it. <laughs> it smells like booze already. No, oh, it says already prepaid. <laughs> Keep these margaritas icy. My grandfather always told me. That did that fast. Yeah. What is this, like a modern day blender? <laughs> fancy fancy handles for fancy folks. These look like they have, they need a little bit. Yeah. This movie night has taken a dark turn for the worse, and that's why today I'd like to talk to you about the Shriners Memorial Hospital. <laughs> Are you using your 15 minutes of fame to attack a charitable institution? No, I'm attacking the audience. I'm saying that the audience is shittier than the Shriners because the Shriners have such a handicap. The audience is your attacker. How yeah. many margaritas have you had? I've had one. This will be number two. This is number three for me. Probably number three for Kyle. This is, this is number 87 for Kyle. He's in the John. He's in the Jane. Listen. Alec? Go ahead and start it. No, because no, it's going to record you pissing and flushing. Please. Wait, we want to get through this. Because it, it's going to... It's just going to record your bathroom sounds. That's true. Listen. And I'm my kind of cop, but you're smart and you smell good. God forbid I miss any important plot points. Well, you should have gone up fucking stairs, shouldn't you? <laughs> Corey McIntyre. That is, that is fucking Matt McIntyre. Damon look like if I've ever seen one. This is Jimmy Plimpton. Uh, so he's, 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 he's fake. He's pretending to be a, a sports agent? Yeah. Oh. 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 You're hurting him! Yeah! Stop it. Did she throw him out of throw her out of the apartment without any clothes? Yes, he did. Hey, she has a bed sheet. Oh, awesome. You really need help. I'll be up front. And think about this. I hate being kept waiting. Okay, Todd. Back to work, folks. Nothing unusual here. Jeez. That guy looks like he got an A, a haircut, and B, aged five years. Mm. All right. It's all here. Everything you wanted. That was easy. Oh, my God. A receipt from the uh, cab driver, like you told me to. Right. Thanks. I'll take care of it first thing. <laughs> and that in itself is enough to make you a winner. Trust me. I kill people. I know. Hope you don't mind. Oh, no. Of course not. Go ahead and die into the mic. Look at this fucking camera work. Corey McIntyre of Paolo, look, uh, can you look through your reservations and see if a man named Corey McIntyre had dinner at your restaurant? Could you give us a description? I think so, but. Uh... What? Maybe you should uh, come see for yourself. He's having dinner here right now. Now? Listen to me, you've got to stall him. I don't know how. Think of something. 
but nothing that'll make them suspicious. The important thing is you can't let them leave the restaurant, okay? And don't provoke them. We're on our way. We'll call you back from the car. I can hear my breathing, and it's the only sound in the world. Yes, I know. You're a runner? I used to be. Now I'm more of a chaser. We're here to talk about you. Oh, no! You're a cop. Just go around. Nope, just a check. We have some excellent desserts. Really? Just a check. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so goodness. sorry. Here, here, cold water quickly before it sets. What a team player. What a matra fucking G. Director of this, Bruce Paltrow. It's Gwyneth Paltrow's father. Huh? Right. What was it? Yeah, it was... yeah, they're still here. Will you please hurry the hell up? Look, this guy's not gonna pull a gun or anything, is he? He's not gonna pull fine, a noose, fine. is he? Whatever you say. No check. Please accept these as an apology for my clumsiness. You shouldn't have. Out of here. Dispatch, this is 8707. We're proceeding on foot to Capriatas. Look. Oh, see Not them. all of you. They're going to run because it's a running movie. You know what I do bet? How much you want to bet Randy Quaid ends up sprinting and catching this guy because he was an ex-champion in high school? Oh. Nice. I, yeah. lo I love it. They abandoned their car so they can have a chase against a runner. The waiter's like yes, still yes, trying sir. to come up with excuses. Wait, 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 wait. You don't have your check? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't have your I check? I that's I would literally that's what I would do. They can they can never they'll never make it to this fucking restaurant. I'm stuffed. Damn, how Mary's and twenty extra laps. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Like, who would laugh at someone who's making a face like that? Oh, for fuck's sake, are they there yet? Yep. Here we go. Where? Around there, last shit. Oh, here we go. No, see, they're incompetent and they don't. No. What oh, the wait, fuck? Is she dead now? <laughs> Sometimes life just stinks. Yeah. You got that right. Let me ask you something, Bird. So this is pre-haircut sh shot. Oh, Randy Quaid, what a fucking player. Is he getting Randy? He is getting Randy. Here's what I think. Oh First my god. Movie, what got, the fuck with this movie? Out, he got so Randy. I'm sure the movie was probably worth it for him just to kiss her. I mean, I was straight up anticipating a, a Tommy Wiseau level uh, sex scene. You are my rose, you are my rose, you are my rose. Cut to the scene. Like the, Cut to the, the scene. Cut to the belly button. I have to show my ass to sell this movie. I was straight up anticipating that. That we were gonna have to see Randy Quaid's fucking ass. Come out. He's finished anyway. He's already worked his way through the list of girls living here. Just the mile runners. What about the shot putters? What about the pole holders? They'll compete in the pole. That might be some of my favorite dialogue. What about the shot the putters? What, what about, about the pole, pole vaults? <laughs> what about the pole vaults? <laughs> what about the Special Olympics? Steve? He keeps his car clean. Car wash. Maybe I saw the guy. What about the girl? We write the license plates on both sides of the ticket. You happen to write down the time? Don't have to. It's punched in automatically. Do you have the stubs from last night? Absolutely. Of course. I don't know why you waited so long to ask. They're around here somewhere. It's in his area. Let's go. 
Let's run. Is this like the Avengers? I think run up the pillar ramp. Is this like the Avengers scene? Like this is the 87th precinct that they got to call Well, I just run out of the scene. Looks <laughs> good. Holy. Shout out to Chinese. Hey. Put that away. Hey, Steve. The guy answers the door holding a noose or a lightning bolt. I'm going to shoot him. I think that's fair. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're kidding, right? We've got no warrant. We've got no probable cause. Mm -hmm. Wait. I think I heard somebody calling for help. Oh. This is the position of the victims. Henry Lightning Lytell, National Collegiate Champion, one mile run. Bingo. Call it in, Ollie. That didn't really stay over your shoulder. Yeah. Leave him alone, he's fat. Please. Don't you fat sympathize? Baxter Hall, 6 o'clock. Today's date. It's raining. Well, yeah, it's just a light mist. Of course. No one, no one before, like, 2005 could hear anything when they had headphones on. All they were. If it hard cuts to her being dead, I'm coming to the radio. Scott? Annie Walsh. I won't please. Al me. Alec the cop. Please, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> I would never throw a sandwich away. Like I first did, that's what he did. He threw a sandwich. So it's like sometimes he kills them by by pretending to be a talent scout, and sometimes he just jog chases, just chases them while they're while they're going on their evening jog. There's... Come on, Ving Rames. What's the rope? They went after the girl. Come on with that way. Clean what's down there. Everybody I'm late because I was putting my bandage on. Please let the fat guy kill him. Everybody run in a different direction. Oh, see the fat guy. See the fat guy is the only like effective officer. Yeah, yeah that's why he's so fat. He's absorbed the power of I the guess law. He, he is also. He is also. I really want the fat guy to just run over the killer with the car. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. I bet he does. So <laughs> he has to, right? Randy Quaid's like, oh, well. I guess that's the finish line. Oh my god. <laughs> He's got gloves on! Oh my god. He thinks, does she not realize it yet? Oh, fucking Christ! Oh. That is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Oh my god. Run the bullets. <laughs> you shot him in the ass. That you slept with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and then the fat guy just like ramps over. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he does. I bet he pulls in. He goes, "We got him." And that they all look. At He's like, "Look, I got another meatball." Have it for since. Oh, not letting me compete for my country was the biggest mistake the Olympic Committee ever made. <laughs> the Olympic trials are coming up. So I guess he didn't want anyone else to get what he never got. So three people are dead. And they're burning hell. <laughs> Def, Def Chick had no bearing no. on the story, I guess. Whatever. I called the love interest part. Well, yeah, but... I thought she was going to have more yeah, bearing on the story, but... You know. Why don't you go to my place? I've got some frozen stuff in the fridge if you get hungry. I think i got some beer, too. Yeah? You sure? Little beer, little sex. I, sh I was like, you can sleep in my you? bed. I shan't be needing it. Don't worry about me. I've got plans. Oh, there you go. Kind of called to sleep. You got last year's Super Bowl on tape? 
It's on the shelf. You remember we were going to go over to Myers and watch? And you and I got called in on that burglary? Yeah, I remember. Maybe I'll watch it now. <laughs> Credits. You know, it's funny. I don't remember who won. I guess that's good. <laughs> good night. <laughs> God, who wrote the I the know, banter? Oh my God, it still won't end. Just just in case we weren't sure. I brought Chinese again. We got him. I love a woman that doesn't duck. Are you hungry? You want to do something else? I don't understand. I still don't understand. Randy. <laughs> Randy Quaid contractually demanded this be left. <laughs> oh my God. Right. Jesus! Truly, it was a. Hold on. Ed McBain's 87th Precinct Lightning. Times New Roman credits.